welcome everyone here tonight in Jesus precious name Revelation chapter 3 verse 7 to 8 in subsequent meetings place within the midweek service will follow strictly the instructions of the ushers to avoid haphazard sitting for the sake of the coverage that we we'll, we'll, we'll need to have. The Lord bless you in Jesus name. Open doors by the word. Our objective is to understand the open door power of the word of God. Revelation chapter 3, verse 7 to 8. And to the angel of the church in Philadelphia, write These things saith he that is holy, he that is true, he that has the key of David, he that openeth and no man shutteth and shutteth and no man openeth I know thy works behold I have set before thee an open door and no man can shut it for thou hast a little strength and hast kept my word and has not denied my name I have set before you an open door because you have kept my wall I want to say first of all that the keeping of the word of God is a qualification for open doors I set before you an open door because you kept my word people of the world are candidates for open doors worded are never victims of closed doors And we have a few examples in scripture again if you are a man of the world your doors must open if you are a woman of the world your doors must open no door under heaven is permitted to close against a man of the world no door under heaven is permitted to close against a woman of the world. Examples. Number one, the door of the prison opened for Joseph to regain his freedom when his word came. The door of the prison opened for Joseph to regain his freedom when his word came. Psalm 105 verse 17 all the way to verse 20 he sent a man before them even Joseph who was sold for a servant whose feet they had with fetters he was laid in iron until the time that his word came the word of the Lord tried him then the king sent and loosed him even the ruler of the people and let him go free he made him lord of his house and ruler of all his substance the door of the prison opened for joseph but he regained his freedom the moment his word came there is somebody here tonight every prison where the devil has kept you the word coming your way tonight is opening your door and you are going out free shout the loudest amen 
number two the door of liberty from captivity became a possibility when daniel found something when daniel found what was written by the prophet jeremiah again the door of liberty from captivity for israel became a possibility when daniel found what was written in the book of the prophet jeremiah what did daniel find daniel chapter 9 verse 2 the bible said in the first year of his reign i daniel understood by books the number of the years whereof the word of the lord came to jeremiah the prophet that he would accomplish 70 years in the desolation of jerusalem that is the children of israel were in bondage for 70 years and the 70 years was coming to pass and the captivity still continued if daniel did not read the book and did not locate where it was written that the captivity was to last for only 70 years everybody would have remained maybe for 200 years but that information pushed daniel into the prayer that broke the captivity he found it in the book of jeremiah where is it in the book of jeremiah jeremiah 29 verse 10 jeremiah chapter 29 verse 10 for thus saith the lord that after 70 years be accomplished at babylon i will visit you and perform my good word toward you in causing you to return back to your place it was written in scripture that even though the babylonians will carry you away from your land it is for 70 years the 70 years had come the 70 years was passing until one person located it in the book that this thing was not meant to exceed 70 years and in the strength of that revelation he went to the place of prayer that broke the captivity when your word comes your chain breaks am i communicating at all there are many of us who have continued in some negative situations because there are things we have not yet seen in the book tonight i prophesy as the book is open to you every captivity in your life shall break that amen is so paralyzed i prophesy that the gate of the prison is opening for somebody tonight and you are going out free shout the loudest amen take your seat in the presence of the lord is, is, so is, is, it, is it getting clear to us at all that when the word of god arrives the doors open example number three the door of manifestation and ministry fulfillment was open for the master jesus when he found what was written concerning him the door of manifestations and ministry fulfillment was open for our for the master jesus when he found what was written concerning him in luke chapter 4 verse 16 all the way to verse 20 bible said and he came to nazareth where he had been brought up and as his custom was he went into the synagogue on the sabbath day and stood up for to read and there was delivered unto him the book of the prophet isaiah that was isaiah chapter 61 and when he had opened the book he found the place where it was written the spirit of the lord is upon me because he has anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor he had sent me to heal the brokenhearted to preach deliverance to the captives and recovering of sight to the blind to set at liberty them that are bruised to preach the acceptable year of the lord and he closed the book he found the place that was written he read it and he closed the book and he gave it again to the minister and sat down 
and the eyes of all of them were upon him they were fasting on him and he began to say unto them this day is this scripture fulfilled in your ears that is i am the one this bible is talking about and i have found it inside the bible and as i have found it I'm, I am stepping into it. When something becomes your revelation, it has become your manifestation. Am I communicating at all? The Bible said the secret things belong to God, but the things that are revealed belong to us. Everything that becomes your revelation becomes your manifestation. I prophesy to somebody here today that the revelations coming your way tonight shall usher you into your manifestation. Shout the loudest, amen. Shout the loudest, Amen. Help me tell three people around you. Tell them, get ready for your manifestation. 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 For your manifestation. Did you hear what the Bible said? It said, the eyes of them all were fastened upon him. The eyes of them all were fastened upon him. When you locate what is written, you become a focus. When you locate what is written concerning you, you command the attention of your generation. Your revelation makes you to command the attention of your generation. I believe that there is someone seated here tonight. You shall command the attention of your generation in this season. If you believe that, shout the loudest, amen. If you believe that, shout the loudest, amen. If you believe that, shout the loudest, amen. Say after me, say today, I am becoming, I am becoming the focus of my generation. I am becoming the focus of my generation. Shout the loudest, amen. Hmm. When you know what is written, no devil can write you off. When you what is written concerning you you become a written epistle when you know when you locate what is written concerning you you can't be written off by men when you locate what is written concerning you you become a written epistle when you locate what is written concerning you you become a living epistle someone say aloud amen that was how the door of manifestation was opened for our master as he opened what was written concerning him number four the door of frustration was closed and the door of satisfaction was opened for peter when the word came to him in his distress the door of frustration was closed and the door of satisfaction was opened for peter when the word came to him in his distress you know the story in Luke chapter 5 verse 1 all the way to verse 5 when Peter Jesus stood by the lake of Gennesaret the fishermen were there washing their net because they had caught nothing and, and Jesus thrust Peter's sheep from the land and taught from it and then he told Peter to launch out his net for a drought and he said master I've toiled all night I caught nothing nevertheless at thy word I shall lay down the net and when he did that he, he enclosed a great multitude of fishes until his net break is God speaking to somebody here at all everyone who came in here with every trace of frustration I declare it is over I declare the door of celebration is open it is open help me tell somebody by yourself say the door of frustration is closing for you and the door of celebration and the door of manifestation and the door of satisfaction is opening for you tonight shout the loudest amen is god speaking to anybody here let me announce to someone here this december shall be your best every frustration package for you by the devil is returned back to that hell you shall celebrate your way across into 2019 somebody shout power somebody shout power somebody shout the loudest power Woo! 
This is the glory dome. And in this glory, glory dome, shame can never be your portion. Everybody under this canopy, you have escaped frustration. You have escaped shame. You have escaped doom. Shout power! Take your seat. the word open doors how does the word of God open doors number one the word of God represents spiritual keys for the opening of diverse doors for God's people the word of God represents spiritual keys are designed for the opening of diverse doors for God's people in Matthew chapter 16 verse 16 to 19 when Peter gave Simon Peter answered when Jesus was asking who do men say that I the son of God son of man am Simon and the son of man is the same as the word of God because in the beginning was the word and the word was with God and the word was God Simon Peter said thou art Christ you the word you are Christ the son of the living God and Jesus answered and said unto him blessed are thou Simon bar Jonah for flesh and blood has not revealed it unto you but my father which is in heaven and I say unto you that you are Peter and upon this rock this revelation this word I will build my church and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it and I will give to you the keys this revelation represent the keys of the kingdom of heaven so that whatsoever you bind on earth shall be bound in heaven and whatsoever you lose on earth shall be loosed in heaven somebody shout yes so this revelation are your keys in Luke chapter 11 verse 52 a part Luke 11 52 a he said woe unto you lawyers he's talking to the Pharisees for you have taken away the key of knowledge the Pharisees the lawyers the scribes they were the people who were the custodians of the word of God the Old Testament and they hid the word from the people say you have taken away the key of knowledge so the knowledge of the word is key to liberty is key for destiny what is the meaning of that every realm where you have located the word in that realm you have located keys to triumph whenever you access the word of god for example in the realm of divine health you have been given access in the realm of health whenever you have revelation in the realm of supernatural supplies for example you have been given keys to access the room the realm of wealth whenever you have revelation in the realm of divine protection and preservation it means you have been given keys to triumph over the forces of destruction is God speaking to somebody here I believe that tonight God will hand over some keys to people he will hand over some keys to people and if you are receiving your keys tonight shout the loudest amen so the word of God represents keys number two the word of God is the same as the God of the word that is the word of God and God of the word are the same in the beginning was the word and the word was with God and the word was God so God God and the word are the same the word of God is the same as the person of the word as the person of God what does that mean that the presence of God is tied to the word of God the presence of God is tied to the word of God we see that in John chapter 1 verse 1 to 5, verse 1 already the word is God 
the word is God the word is God then in first Samuel chapter 3 verse 21 first Samuel chapter 3 verse 21 he said the Lord appeared against Shiloh for the Lord revealed himself to Samuel by the word of the Lord see the Lord revealed himself by the word of the Lord so the word of the Lord is equal to the person of God am I communicating at all and how does that open your doors the presence of god the word of god equals the presence of god and the presence of god equals supernatural openings the word of god equals the presence of god and the presence of god equals supernatural openings in psalm 114 verse 1 all the way to the end he said when israel went out of egypt the house of jacob from the people of his strange language judah was his sanctuary israel was his dominion the sea saw it and fled jordan was driven back the mountains skipped like rams and the little hills like lambs what ail thee o thou sea that thou fledest thou jordan that you were driven back you mountains that you skip like rams and you little hills like lambs tremble thou earth as at the presence of the lord at the presence of the god of jacob which turned the rock into a standing water and the flint into a fountain of waters that's right the word of the lord activates the presence of god and the presence of god creates supernatural openings is God speaking to somebody here? Every time you come around a worshiper or you come around a word dead person, you feel the same thing, the presence of God. So when you are in touch with a worshiper who is also a word dead person, you are in touch with double presence. Am I communicating at all? And that presence opens the Red Seas. I believe that God is about to appear to somebody here. You are that person, say aloud, loud Amen say the Lord must say amen so this is the equation when the word arrives the Lord appears when the word arrives the Lord appears and when the Lord appears obstacles disappear when the word obstacles include closed doors when the word arrives the lord appears and when the lord appears obstacles disappear he said the lord appeared to samuel by the word of the lord so when the word arrives the lord appears and when the lord appears obstacles disappear when the word arrives the lord appears when the lord appears doors open someone say amen there's someone who will be living here tonight and stepping into very mysterious and strange open doors you are that person who say louder amen somebody is living here tonight into very strange and mysterious open doors you are that person shout the loud most amen somebody is living here tonight into very strange and mysterious open doors by the appearance of the lord you are the one shout the loudest amen Take your seat number three so how does the word open doors the word represents spiritual keys the word of god also is the same as the god of the word number three the word of god is light. and light uncovers darkness and exposes access the word of god is light and light uncovers darkness and exposes poses access John 1 5 the light shineth in darkness and the darkness comprehended it not Psalm 119 verse 105 thy word is a lamp unto my feet and a light to my path that is your word is light that shows me way it shows me way it shows me road how many of you have ever been in a very very dark room and you woke up suddenly in the night and you are looking for where the door is maybe in the village maybe suddenly the light was out and even in the town and and you and you you slept you woke up in the night and you are wondering where is the direction of the door because there was no light 
So light uncovers darkness and exposes access. It shows you where the road is. It shows you how to locate the door. The door that was opened up, just where the door is. Tonight, I speak to someone by prophecy. That door that you've been looking for, the way you've been looking for, the access you have been looking for, shall be exposed to you tonight by light. It shall be exposed to you tonight by light. If you are saying amen, shout the loudest amen shout the loud most amen look at your neighbor say get ready light is coming light is coming light is coming give the lord the praise and take your seat is god speaking to anybody here at all have you ever been to the point in your life where the scripture is talking to you directly where it was as if that particular passage was written with your situation in mind under the next 24 hours somebody shall have that experience where a particular scripture scripture will speak to you and handle your situation show you what to do show you the way to go show you the steps to take in the name of jesus number four the word of god opens the door to the works of God. The word of God opens the door to the works of God. That is how it opens our doors. In Psalm 33 and in verse 4. Psalm 33 and in verse 4 he said, For the word of the Lord is right. And all his works are done in the word. Truth is also the word. All his works Genesis chapter 1 from verse 1 God said let there be light there was light God said God said God said <clears throat> and God rested from his works which work the work of word word work so the word of God opens the door to the works of God and if the work of God you are you are trusting God for is the opening of the womb or the opening of a marital opportunity or the opening of a ministry opportunity once the word comes the works happen and it will happen for somebody tonight it will happen for somebody tonight this december god will take the devil by surprise in your life if god is speaking to you you will say a louder amen god will take the devil by surprise in your life the bible said better is the end of a thing than the beginning thereof the end is calculated to be better than the beginning in the name that is above every name you will end this year well it shall be better for you than the beginning of the year shout the loudest amen let god be true and let every devil be a liar i was talking with our team this morning the engineers the architects the and all the people that work together with us just first of all appreciating god and secondly appreciating every effort of everybody and i said what god showed me concerning this construction he showed me that anything is possible Am I going any, anything? Any single thing, any sing, mysterious supernatural supplies? Ay, 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 ay. We are within a matter of two weeks, you are hundreds of millions have been spent without knowing how it happened. There were times where what was spent on the project was millions above what came into church as offering. Where did the balance come from? And it was paid for. Am I communicating at all? All manner, all manner. Those manner. 
massive beams you are seeing there the one that has that gold under it every time you see one of it that is one trailer of cement we were casting a very very <laughs> i don't want to call it terrible beam <laughs> from one end here all the way to the other end i think about 200 almost getting 200 and something meters almost 300 meters a construction company came to supply us concrete they poured just a few five meters there about concrete to a depth of almost the height of a man buried inside metal the cost of that five meters was 33 million and we were going to cast 290 something 200 and something meters of it <laughs> and i mean and it was they measured it rate by rate they me, it was measured by cubic i don't know how they calculate it and that was the price i told you we cannot do we can't go on at this let's buy our own concrete mixer and see how we can beloved it was i told them this morning i said i can believe god for anything for anything for anything is possible two weeks to the dedication day all those who came here never believe it will happen <laughs> they never believe it will happen they, even some of you you even those of you who are here now you are unbelievers at that time <laughs> you say you are one of them <laughs> One man came in here and, 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 and he came in October. We told him our dedication is November. He kept quiet. He left. He called my wife later. I said, Is he sure? He began to pity me on the spot. That, uh, why should he put himself in that position now? Are you sure that thing will happen? Next month, during the dedication, he came and he said, I want to confess my sin. He said, I did not believe it will happen. One woman of God came here like two weeks to the time. He said, when is the dedication? I said, in two weeks time. He said, which two weeks time? There was scaffold everywhere. Floor was raw, everything. He said, pastor, you have faith to... That kind of, you have faith to was a discouraging statement. You have faith to... Well, we shall be here. God exceeded our expectation. A floor this level of all two and a half stadiums rugged wall to wall the roof like sky who believes somebody shout I believe God shout the loudest I believe God shout the loud most I believe God at the top of your voice I believe God I prophesy to somebody here today in the name that is above every name Jesus Christ the resurrected Lord the word of God is coming your way and it is changing your story everything that appear impossible to you appear impossible to those who know you appear impossible to men and women around you I prophesy with God it shall be possible it shall be possible it shall be possible shout the loudest amen help me shake the hands of seven people tell them it shall be possible 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 give the Lord a loud shout of praise and take your seat every time you walk around here and you look just tell yourself anything is possible anything is possible let this space enlarge your mentality enlarge your thinking capacity enlarge your durability durability what did i call it what is what is that ability to dare <laughs> Hallelujah. 
what is the word that opens doors what particular word opens doors we've seen how does the word open doors now what particular word is it opens doors number one the revealed word the revealed word the word that is revealed to you that is revealed to you in the course of study reading or meditation that revealed word came to open doors in matthew chapter 16 verse 16 to 19 we already saw how the word was revealed to peter and by the revealed word the door was opened i give you the revealed word brought him keys in Psalm 119 verse 130 he said the entrance of the word giveth light the entrance of the word the entrance of the word the entrance of the word it giveth light so when the word enters you it gives you light and we say light uncovers darkness and exposes access it, it just gives you light once it is revealed to you am i communicating at all that word that while you are studying the bible suddenly light broke out you saw something you never saw before that word came to give you access and beloved you can get the revealed word by asking god psalm 119 verse 18 open down my eyes that i may behold wondrous things out of thy law you can ask god for the revelation of his word father as i study the word may it not be like newspaper may it not be like literature may it be may it be light unto me open my eyes that i may behold wondrous things out of thy law the revealed word that was number one number two is the sent word the sent word that is the word that god sends specifically to handle a particular situation the sent word the first one you were just studying randomly and saw some things this second one was sent particularly to handle something in your life whether it is a sickness situation or, or a financial situation or a ministry stagnation, the sent word, Psalm 105 verse 17 to 20, that was a kind of word that was sent to J Joseph. He said, and until the time his word came, verse 19, until the time his word came and the king and the, and, and the word of the Lord tried him, the sent word, Psalm 107 verse 20, the Bible said, he sent forth his word, he sent forth his word and healed them, Psalm 107 verse 20, he sent forth, he sent his word and healed them, the sent word in Luke chapter 5 and in verse 4 all the way to verse 6, we saw Jesus sent Sending the word to Peter, sending the word to Peter in his situation, in his situation, and that word opened the door. Am I communicating at all? On a general note, you can ask God to give you revelations of his word, but on a specific note, you can ask God to send you the particular word that is needed for particular situations. Psalm 43, verse 3 he said oh send me send out your light and your truth and let them lead me let them bring me unto thy holy hill and to thy tabernacles father send me a word that will terminate this marital stagnation send me a word that will open my doors of marriage send me a word that will step me into ministry of impact send me a word you can ask God when you have the revealed word and then you have the sent word then you can have a guarantee of openings number three is the kept word the kept word the kept word Revelation chapter 3 verse 8 he said I know your works behold I have set before you an open door and no man can shut it why because you have a little strength and you have kept my word kept I have set before you an open door because there is a word you are keeping 
the, the kept word is the word you have in your custody I call it resident revelation resident revelation the word you have in your custody the word that has become resident the word that is a part of your life the word that you think you act you live it is resident revelation anytime they wake you up you don't need to look for the scripture that guarantee your longevity it is resident anytime they woke you up in the day in the night in the dream you don't need to look for the word that guarantees your supernatural supplies that guarantees your welfare it is resident it is like you don't practice to speak your mother tongue you don't rehearse drunkards don't rehearse drunkenness because the liquor is resident Am I communicating? It's resident revelation. You behave it naturally. When you are confronted, you behave it naturally because it has it is it is inside you. Like we used to say, a day body. Am I communicating? Take your seat. So we have the word that is revealed. We have the word that is sent. And now we have the word that is resident. Hello? Many of us, we came across revelations before that did not recite. So the results we saw were temporary. How do you make it resident? By continuous review. Romans chapter 12 verse 1 and 2 I beseech you therefore brethren by the mercies of the living God that you present your bodies a living sacrifice holy acceptable unto God which is your reasonable service and be not conformed to this world but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind you continue to renew any relation that has ever done something to you from time to time visit it review the light and brighten the light you continue to chew it until it resides how many of you know that little children at times will swallow corn and how do you see it when they pass it out it's just straight like that it's never part of them it just went in and went out that is how some revelation happen for some of us but when you take it in and you eat it and you chew it it enters and you, it, you absorb it it becomes resident it is part of you it's part of your system and then when that happens to you you can be guaranteed open doors that no man can shut you say because you have kept my word i have set before you an open door because there is something residing inside you i have given to you an open door i'm not for example i am not afraid for my divine protection because i am too aware that a zillion demons can temper with my future one day one second out of my life why there is something residing i am not aware of my i am not afraid for my supplies somebody gave me an offering and he didn't mention whether it is my he was given to me as a person or he was given to the church because i am different from the church <laughs> there are some who who asked me who put an offering for me and when i look at the envelope is glory dome seed this that and i give it directly like that but when it is put in my hands like that and the man didn't mention what it was it's ten thousand not ten thousand not twenty thousand not thirty thousand in dollars <laughs> So I called the church people and I gave it to them. I said, this person gave me this offering. He didn't mention whether it is for the church or for me. 
But in case it is for the church and I keep it, I have stolen. And I can't. But in case it is for me and I give it to the church, then let it be my seed. <laughs> then let it be my seed. I can, God can never cheat me. <laughs> God, God, God can never cheat me. Let him take it. <laughs> if you are afraid of your financial future, you can't give money out like that. If you are afraid of where the, your next supply will come, anything that enters your hand sticks like evil stick. Aradite. Ara, what? Aradite. Aradite. Super glue. But there are some, there is a light that you have that you know that your supply is not tied to what you get but to what you release. And then you are safe and you are calm. Resident revelation. In case you live here tonight and someone is asking you, what did you hear? You, told, you tell him, I heard many things, but I just heard that there is something called resident revelation. That makes the door open and remain open. Take your seat. So what kind of word is the word that opens your door? The revealed word? The sent word? The kept word? And number four, the declared word. The word you, you, you declare. The word you speak. The declared word. The declared word, the declared word, the word you speak, the word you declare, the word that God has revealed to you, the word that, the word that has been sent to you, the word that is res, res, residing in you, speaking, speaking the word forth from time to time. Isaiah chapter 43 verse 26 Isaiah 43 verse 26 says, put me in remembrance. Let us plead together. Declare thou that thou mayest be justified. Your justification or your liberation is tied to your declaration. Your liberation is tied to your declaration. Declare thou that thou mayest be justified. Isaiah chapter 44 and in verse 26. Isaiah 44 and in verse 26 says, God confirmeth the word of his servant and performeth the counsel of his messenger. Numbers 14 verse 28. He said, as you have spoken in my ears, so will I do to you. So the declared word is a word that opens your door. It opens your door. When you are speaking and you are talking, you are not just speaking and you are not just talking, you are opening doors. 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 Somebody say amen. amen. And you know the best time to talk, it is when the situations look opposite. I told our people we are going to dedicate this sanctuary debt free. And we are going to dedicate it with excess. When you are, you, are, you are looking at hundreds of millions, the best time to talk is when the situation looks opposite. You open the doors by your talk. Somebody say a loud amen. amen. Somebody say a loud amen. amen. The grave of Lazarus was opened by the words of Jesus. Lazarus, come forth. And he that was dead came forth. He was bound hand and foot by the declarations. Launch your net into the drought. And he did. And the door was open for the fishes to arrive. Somebody here tonight, I believe that this word has come because a particular door in your life needs to open and i tell you tonight in the name of jesus that door shall open amen. that amen is too paralyzed amen. if you are saying amen stand on your feet and shout the louder amen. amen if you are saying amen stand on your feet and shout the loudest amen, amen. shout the loud most amen. amen shout a believers amen amen, amen. 
the top of your voice. Remain standing. Every word we preach, God confirms to his own. If we talk healing, people get healed. If we talk supernatural supplies, people get supernatural supplies. If we talk about divine preservation, you just heard now that a woman was in the midst of killers and she couldn't be wasted like others. And we are talking about opening doors by the word. The meaning of that is, if there is one more door you are trusting God to open before this year is over, that door is open. You are living here and stepping into the opening of that door. And every revelation, every vision, every wisdom, you need for the opening of that door is released upon you shout the loudest amen well lift up your hands and give him the praise for what you just received go ahead and appreciate god appreciate him honor him adore him. thank him for his word to you tonight praise him for his word to you tonight Honor him, adore him, glorify him for his word to you tonight. Meka jige levera na hasana gagala hayata sakatisha. Leke redina malagaga yada hasanista. Le peperene gagala hatisi na mama halashta. Le perene keseke lini mimi na gagahashta. Le perida kazaganina milete fedigo suma na galashta. Father, we give you the praise. We give you the honor. We give you the adoration. We give you the worship. We give you the worship. We give you the worship. In Jesus' precious name. Lift your hands and say, me, say, Father, I come before you today to connect with keys. Keys for the opening of prison doors around my life. Keys for the turning around of captivity in my life. Keys to step into doors of manifestation and ministry fulfillment keys to close the door of frustration and open the door of satisfaction father in the name of jesus i ask that your presence your presence will appear as i open the world let your light shine in the midst of my darkness father let your walk appear in my life now lift your hands and pray this with more seriousness say father open my eyes in this season to behold wondrous things out of thy law open my eyes to behold wonders from your word then say father send me your word into my life into my situation into my circumstance send me your word send me your word mention an area of your life where you want him to send the word send me a word send me your word targeted to my healing my deliverance my liberation send me a word send me a marital word send me a word for finances send me a word send me a word send me my word open your mouth and speak to god send me word send me word word on marriage word on finances word on spiritual growth send me a word that will open my doors finally in this season in the name of jesus lift your hands and say father i receive the grace to renew the world and review the world until it is resident in me father i receive the discipline to continuously declare in your word at all times to all situations i receive the grace to continually declare your word i receive it now open your mouth and speak to god
Jesus precious name this communion will particularly open your eyes this communion will connect you to that word you need this communion will destroy blindness from your life lift up your hands while we are set for that everyone here tonight saying pastor i'm i'm in need of surrender to jesus i want today to mark a new day for me i want to go forward ever backward never the bible said if i regard iniquity in my heart the lord will not hear me you know when before children are born they don't really have vision when they are born i mean they don't really they don't really see when they are born it takes a little time before their eyes open until you are born again your eyes cannot open am i communicating your eyes can't open spiritually to see anything and if you are living in compromise and sin you are blinded second corinthians chapter 4 verse 4 he said if our gospel is hid it is hid to them that are lost which the god of the world has blinded they are blinded they are blinded so you want your eyes to be open to be able to see scripture to be able to know god and for today to mark a new day for you all right it's already coming forward carry your bibles and your bags from wherever you are and quickly rush forward take that song we took again uh -oh. i wanted to say usher take the song <laughs> and then choir you can go and do ushering choir please go ahead i'll give you the count of seven i want you to rush from everywhere you are and don't be the last to come be the first to come the rest of us lift your hands and take that song one give them space as they come two My word is a lamp. Two. Six. One more. One more. If you are a victim of bondage, you are tied down by smoke, by drink, by alcohol, by marijuana, bad movies, and filthy things tied your life down, or you backslid and you want to rededicate yourself, this is your opportunity. I'll give you another count of five. You say, I want to renew my relationship with God. Quickly come forward again. One. I have. Two. Quickly, quickly, quickly. bless you in Jesus name help me stretch your hands towards these people in the front here I appreciate your coming I believe that today is your it's a new day for you place your right hand on your chest and lift the other hand up and say after me Lord Jesus I come before you today to surrender my life to you today I have decided to follow you Lord no turning back from today I go forward ever backward never thank you lord for helping me to live for you in jesus name amen 
I pray for you today. I declare the hold of the enemy broken off your life. The grace to live for God is released upon you. In the name of Jesus. Help from above is your portion. Again, help from above is your portion. In Jesus' precious name. Everybody lift up your two hands everywhere you are. Luke chapter 24. In verse 31, he said, In the breaking of bread, 24 31, 24, their eyes were opened and they knew him. And their eyes were opened and they knew him. Their eyes were opened. From verse 30, in the breaking of the bread, their eyes were open. It came to pass as he sat at me to them. He took bread and blessed it and break and gave it to them. And their eyes were open. Everyone whose eyes had been closed. You have not been able to see scripture. You have not been able to see light. You have not been able to see solution. You have not been able to see the way out of your situation. You have not been able to see the, the mystery behind your frustration. You have not been able to see what you need to see tonight by the reason of this communion, the body of the Lord and the blood. I command your eyes open now in Jesus name. I declare tonight a night of divers supernatural encounters angelic visitations divine visitations eye-opening visitations mystery exposing visitations in jesus name by the power of the blood of jesus that we shall be sharing in this communion every demonic mystery after your life Every evil orchestration, every satanic agenda, every plot of the kingdom of hell against your life, against your family, against your children, every organized sorrow, organized frustration, organized pain for you and your family, I declare it is broken. It is broken. It is broken. shall fulfill your days your children shall fulfill their days every father or mother who has a concerned child here after this communion wherever they are the power of God will visit them for their healing I declare the healing of fibroid the healing of hemorrhoid the healing of thyroid sciatica every form of pain every brain affliction every tumor in the system today is the end of it forever every spirit of wretchedness and poverty empty handedness every demon that say you should end this year empty handed their power is broken what is yours what is yours what belongs to you this year that's right the lord is showing me a 24 hour miracle something belonging to you that the devil has been sitting on that devil is losing his peace losing his sleep losing his rest until what is yours enters your hands for a woman the door of the womb is opening right now the door of the womb is opening right now for a young lady here the door of marriage is opening right now not the wrong person not a joker the right person for that man whose life has been stagnated today the stagnation is arrested by this communion tonight you are shifting to the next level everything in your body that my father in heaven has not planted every sickness every disease every spirit husband spirit wife lesbian spirit 
Something is breaking right now. That's right. Help her there. Every homosexual demon, every demon, demon, demon of uncleanness, every doggish demon tormenting your life, ancestral demon, the spirit of the masquerade is flushed out of your life now. You saw yourself last night in your village with old classmates. Last night in your village, your very village with old primary school classmates. Where is that person right here? Old primary school classmates. Wondering what am I doing with these people? Lift up your hands. I prophesy now to somebody. Every spirit of backwardness. Every spirit of backwardness. Every spirit of backwardness. The rest of you can remain where you are. Remain where you are. Every spirit of backwardness taking you back in life, taking you back in destiny. That spirit is broken right now. They are broken right now. You are saying amen, say louder, amen. Lift your hands and, 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 and decree now. Say after me, say every altar of my family, of my village, of my community, drawing me back. Drawing my life, drawing my destiny, drawing me back today. Now, while this prayer is going on, something will happen. Someone will have a, a life changing encounter. I see a demonic dog, D O G, running out of somebody right now. I see some masquerades running out right now. I see so, a forest catching fire. And I see, that's right, that's right. I see an altar catching fire. Say after me, lift your hands, say every altar, every altar from, my history, from my history, from my village, from my, village, from my, community, from my community, after my life, after my, life, after my, after my, destiny, after my destiny, pulling me backward. Pulling me backward. Oh, you altar, oh, you altar. In, the in the name of Jesus, catch fire, fire, fire. fire. now, pray every altar. Oh, you altar, catch fire, catch fire. From my village, pulling me back, pulling me back, pulling me back, pulling me back. Catch fire, 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 let the fire catch fire. Jesus so shall it be in the name of Jesus those altars are set on fire and I declare your freedom tonight and so by this communion your eyes are open the yokes are broken and I see thousands of testimonies coming out of this communion by this time tomorrow your testimonies are multiple i prophesy to somebody with the issue of blood it is arrested right now give the lord a big clap and a shout of praise shake three hands around you and congratulate them counselors you are going to go with these people and then make sure they take a position where they can easily be part of the communion i, I think this side is better right yes this place is better for us that's right yes that's right that's right The communion is, is being is being distributed very rapidly. Is there a light recording something there? Hold on on that. The back's right there. I've seen a phone on there.
are you positioned now since since the communion is um, individually taken so everybody pick it and then I'll, I'll give you a matching order when to take it go ahead and pick just pick it don't take it all I need from you oh Lord in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy ghost we overcome satan the devil by the blood of the lamb and by the word of our testimony i declare that as you take this communion it is your victory it is your opening of the eyes victory over the forces of hell the forces of sickness the forces of bondage the forces of disease the forces of empty-handedness the forces of wretchedness the forces of darkness i prophesy instant action unction instant action unction instant action communion in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy ghost it is done take your seat and take it pray
appreciate God for what you have received what you have received what you have received father thank you for this moment thank you for this moment thank you for diverse healings diverse encounters thank you for diverse manifestation blessed be your name honor to your name adoration to your name blessed be your name in jesus precious name stretch your two hands in the course of the praying the course of the communion there are one or two healings that took place and even encounters that took place somebody received an injection in the night on, 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 on the buttock and God has touched you and healed that in impartation somebody ate something in the dream and it affected your system and God also healed you by this communion somebody with something an affliction at the back of the head God has healed you also there is a divine encounter that took place in this communion if there is anything like that happened to you quickly come forward here just one minute and let's find out what happened stretch your two hands the rest of us i prophesy upon your hands and i declare harvest from the north from the south from the east and from the west all that is yours shall look for you i call it done in jesus name take your seat quickly and pick up your offerings and quickly two minutes tell us what happened pick up your offerings your tithes and your pledges Quickly, quickly, come up here. What happened to you? Injection when? The injection was on your head yes, last night. Yeah, last night, and I'm having serious. And what headache. happened now? I've, I've, this headache has gone. Somebody shout power! power! Lift up your hands. Everything that came where with you as a demonic deposit out forever return back no more in the name of jesus they sent for him he said he had somebody spiritual injection in 2005 as i woke up physically and i started having the pain and immediately 2005 I, two, that's 2005, 13 years yes sir and what happened now he can't feel that pain and i can't feel any pain again is somebody sitting and looking like that everything that followed you here that my father in heaven has not put on you back to hell back to hell somebody lift your hands in the name of jesus every stranger in my life you are leaving me now on your marks get set shout back to sender the lord bless your seed and multiply your harvest in jesus name Take your seat one minute past the offerings. Please give us three minutes, ushers. Nobody moving now until we share the grace in three minutes. Somebody shout power. Shout it power. What, what happened? Sir, she said she was uh, injected in the dream by a sister she knows very well. And since then, she had been having pain in the right hand and she couldn't lift the hand. But at the world came for this tonight, she could lift the hand and she could do all those things. Somebody good. say, every stranger in my life return back to hell. Now! In the name of Jesus. What happened? So she ate dry gari in a dream. Dry gari. gari in a dream. Not even wet dry one. No, sir. One. Dried Gary yes, sir. in the dream. And I woke up, I started feeling pains in my chest. This hand, I was not able to raise it up like that. Like this, now I can't raise it up. For how long? I, for last month. Dried Gary in the dream affected the shoulder, affected the chest. And what happened now? I went to the hospital. They, they, they asked me to do some tests. I went, I did the test, and they told me it was an infection that affected my liver. I said, no, I can't be affected by such. Gary that entered the liver. Now I'm healed. Somebody shout power. Step here. Lift your right and say in the name of Jesus. Every stranger in my life, you are living now. On your marks. Get set. Shout go. Go, 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 go. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, take your one minute. These two sisters, she said she ate in her dream and she woke up with pain around her right region. Now it is gone. She too ate in her dream. She woke up with a swollen stomach, came here with that swollen stomach. Now it is deflated. He oh, said wow. he has been having issues around his heart region. But as soon as he took that communion, fire came upon him and that pain Somebody is Somebody scream fire! Jesus name. He said he has been having moving object around his abdomen, but right now that movement has stopped. Go! Jesus name. Lift your right hand again and say in the name of Jesus. Every stranger in my life, every deposit in my body, you are on your way. On your marks. Get set. 
shall go. What happened to you? Lift your hands high. Every final miracle that is needed tonight, it is released. In Jesus' precious name. Take your seat one minute before I make a final declaration. How many of you believe that God is here? <laughs> very, very soon. Passing through the gate is enough for your healing. Touching the wall is enough for your total transformation. This is a place of divine habitation. I have a special card for you, for your guest. Dash, dash, dash. Maybe let me say, Dr. Mrs. Becky and Angel. Or Barrister so and so be my guest at the glory dome this sunday give the lord a big clap of hand 9 a.m the lord's garden airport road abuja and you have this this is a card that you if you like you can envelope it just one per person for this sunday let somebody come and not just witness the magnificence of god but also witness the almightiness of god and i believe that will never be the same we have an evangelism team that is going out on a daily basis today they won 960 tons, almost a thousand in one day and they are on on rampage to depopulate hell in order to populate heaven if you want to be a part of that evangelism team you can wait behind at the end of the service and then you we can show you how to be part of the evangelism team ravaging the kingdom of darkness to populate heaven almost a thousand souls in one day today they are on restlessly be my guest please that's right this is not mantle this is not something you say i want to keep as a mantle this is an invitation card where you look for somebody that is special to you and bring them bodily it's not just to give them and say come and meet me it's a matter of we are going together you are bringing them personally to this um, second end of year thanksgiving service this sunday and as you do so the lord bless you in the precious name of jesus christ double celebration for multiple manifestations i am not sure whether the handbill for the christmas event christmas programs are ready but once they are ready, I will let you know. Again, Saturday is the home church. The benefit of the home church at this time is that you are not left behind. From our home church last Sunday, anybody who was a member of the Dunamis Home Church in our area had free transportation to come to church. And they were also taken back home at the same time. So ensure that you are part of the, of the brethren. You don't know the home church to be. You can wait behind in front and you can also ask where to be and you will be assisted somebody say aloud amen it is highly encouraged that as we drive out of this place we assist brethren going in our direction even if you are not going to kubwa or going to maraba provided you are going to cross the area one area anybody going beyond that you can at least take them to that point and then they can find their way from there but please as you do that ensure that you park away from the line of the traffic at outside the gate there you park away from the line of the traffic because once you, you stand in that line and you are asking where are you going there is traffic behind you created in the whole church all the way down there and those controlling the traffic there please ensure that that is done let the people park towards the side where the, the pedestrian walkway so that the flow of the traffic can continue the lord bless you as you do that in jesus precious name anybody excited here say amen anybody blessed today shout the loudest amen have you all received the card it's, it's very obvious i see the hands everywhere 
don't blame the ushers too much the place is very wide but lift up your hand if you don't have have one you, you, you already have one so don't collect you, you already have one I saw one in your hand <laughs> praise the Lord Usher, do you have what some in your hands no don't have it for fancy there are people there you ha are you having it for fancy move right in there move right in there it's not for decoration right in here as well someone say amen under this beautiful canopy no devil shall uglify your life the Bible said the man sat at a beautiful gate but his situation was ugly that will never be your portion everybody under this glory dome glory shall be your testimony take your seat in the presence of the Lord glory is your testimony please still lift your hand uncle come here unchangeable God unchangeable God unchangeable God unchangeable God we are serving the unchangeable God. Unchangeable God. Unchangeable God. Unchangeable. We are serving the unchangeable God. Unchangeable. Unchangeable God. Unchangeable God. Unchangeable. Serving the unchangeable God. One minute, let's still take your seat. One minute, if you don't have, can we still see your hand? Anybody still left on that side? Ushers, if you don't have, please stand on your feet just for identification, not because you did anything wrong, so that they can see you quickly. Just stand on your feet, let them ushers pass it on. That's the man there. Everybody has now. Everybody has now. Lift it up now, everybody. Start up with it, with, with it lifted up. High up. Now, while we are doing that, all the first timers and newcomers, please step forward and let's receive you. I'd like you to receive this final amen with your with the loudest you can you, you can voice. Today, the Bible said, On this wise shall the priest bless the people. Again, while we are doing that, first timers and newcomers, please step forward and let's receive you. This evening every blessing available in this house every blessing available on this altar every blessing available in this commission and every testimony you have ever heard in this church or heard that happened to somebody that you desire in your own life I prophesy it is your portion <laughs> Your life shall not end in mockery. You shall not go to church in vain. The devil and his children shall not laugh at you. You are not wasting your time and your life. And tonight go preserved. And the cards in your hands, they are fertilized. They have become magnetic nets that will draw the multitudes to God. Your friends and your loved ones shall gladly and willingly follow you to know your God. And as you go out for God, the Lord go out with you and confirm his word in your life with signs and wonders. In Jesus name. So shall it be. Go forth and return back with your testimony. You will never enter the wrong vehicle. Your life is too precious to be wasted. It is well with your soul. And the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Spirit be with us now forevermore. Amen. And surely His goodness and mercy shall follow you all the days of your life as you dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. What is your testimony? An open gate. And what is your testimony?